Pennsylvania Mr. Basketball, right? Yeah. Gatorade Player of the Year, offers all over the country. Then you come to Purdue. What's been the highlight of your basketball career so far? But honestly, I think it's been like the ups and the downs that I've been able to learn from. Like, I don't think you realize that in high school, like you think everything's like easy and you know, whatever. Um, and then you get here and it's like, it's real. What's the biggest thing you've learned that you think you've really changed from high school to now? You got it. You have to bring it every day. You know, whether it's in practice, game, scrimmage, you know, whatever, uh, every day. You have to be at your best, um, or there's going to be somebody else that, that'll do your job better than you. So you've been in the rotation since you were a freshman here at Purdue, but this year you're a key player, key minutes. Describe this opportunity. As a guy that's been here, just being a leader for, for the young guys, no matter how much I play. Um, you know, I feel like I've gained a decent amount of knowledge since I've been here and just trying to help them learn and, and get better every day and, you know, just making this the best team possible. And then outside of basketball, what is the Ethan Morton starter pack? What makes you you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty boring, honestly. Just, you know, I like hanging out with the guys, hanging out with my friends. A lot of people know this about me, but I'm a huge Pittsburgh sports fan, so uh, I get a, little, get a little psycho. Every Steeler game, I'm, I'm sitting on the couch with my jersey on, <laughs> screaming at the TV, like, Peng Penguins, I'm the same way. Every game I can watch, I watch. And then coming to Purdue, what is your favorite thing to do outside of basketball around West Lafayette? Maybe a favorite place or a place to eat? Yeah, I'll definitely say, like, I love food, too. I guess that's something I left out. Like, I love eating good food. So just trying new places around here. So if anybody has any recommendations. <laughs> Let them know. <laughs> send them, yeah, send them my way. You talked a little bit about March Madness. Freshman year is the heartbreaker against North Texas, and then St. Peter's being a part of that Cinderella story. Um, what, what do you guys need to do differently this year to, to go on a run in the tournament? I think for us, it's just getting better as the year goes on. Mm -hmm. You know, I think no matter what happens leading up to the NCAA tournament, if we give ourselves a chance to get in and we're playing our best basketball, anything can happen in March.